Welcome to Lecture Online. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens to the image as the object is first placed halfway between the focal point and the mirror. It's a converging mirror. And then we're going to move the object closer and closer and closer to the focal point from between the mirror and the focal point. In a few videos ago, we started with the object farther away than the focal point and moved it closer to the focal point here. Now we're going to start from inside the distance between the focal point and the mirror and move it towards the focal point in this direction. Let's see what happens. Well, we already did this one before. Notice when we place the object right halfway in between the focal point and the mirror at a distance of 10 centimeters, we notice that the image will be at minus 20 centimeters. Minus means behind the mirror and therefore a virtual image. Notice the magnification was, ooh, this is not correct here, this is a positive 2. So the image is twice as large as the original object. It's virtual, it's behind the mirror, and this, the fact that the magnification is a positive 2 means that the image is upright. So what happens when we now move the object farther away from the mirror and closer to the focal point? All right, we're going to again draw the ray from here to the mirror, it's going to reflect back from there through the focal point. There's our first ray. The second ray is this, we're going to draw as if it came from the focal point. We technically should go through the focal point, but since we're already past the focal point, we draw a dashed line from here to the tip of the object. Then we continue on to the mirror. At that point, it's going to reflect back in this direction. Notice the observer here is going to see a ray coming from here. It's going to see a ray coming from here. The brain then projects where that appears to be coming from. This ray appears to be coming from back here somewhere. This ray appears to be coming back from back here somewhere where the two rays appear to be coming from. Whoop, should draw a little straighter than that. There is the image as seen by the observer. Now that image is not real, it's behind the mirror. It's a virtual image. It appears to be there, but it's, of course, not actually there. What's the distance from the image to the mirror? S prime is equal to SF over S minus F. In this case, S is now going to be 15. F is 20 divided by 15 minus 20, which is 300 divided by a minus 5 which is a minus 60 centimeters. Minus means that it's behind the mirror. 60 means it's 60 centimeters behind the mirror. So this distance here is 60 centimeters. The minus means it's behind the mirror. There's the image, and this is our S prime. It looks like it's quite a bit larger than the object. Let's find out how much larger. The magnification is equal to minus S prime over S. Minus a minus 60 over 15, which is 4. A positive 4 means that the image is upright, and 4 means that it's 4 times as large as the original object. Finally, we're going to place the object right here, just 1 centimeter away from the focal point, between the focal point and the mirror, or at the distance of 19 centimeters from the mirror, knowing that the focal point is 20 centimeters from the mirror. Here we have the focal length of 20 centimeters. To find out where it's located, again, we're going to draw a line parallel to the optical axis till we hit the mirror. It's then going to reflect through the focal point. Let's see if I can do this right. There we go, through the focal point and in this direction. The second ray is going to be drawn as if we came from the focal point to the top of the mirror. I should make the mirror a little bit bigger. There we go. And then it's going to reflect away from the mirror, horizontal, parallel to the optical axis. Again, the observer is over here on this side. It sees one ray coming from this direction, sees another ray coming from this direction, and the brain will project as if the ray came from way back here. And in this direction, it looks like the ray came from way back here. Now, of course, I have to cheat a little bit because Actually, the image will form very far away, but where the two meet, that's going to be where the image is. And of course, S prime is going to be this distance from the mirror to the image. Now, where exactly is that? We we'll use the same equation, S prime equals SF over S minus F. S in this case is 19, 
F is 20 divided by S, which is 19 minus 20, which is 380 divided by minus 1 or minus 380. That means that the image distance is 380 centimeters away from the mirror. Minus means that it's behind the mirror, therefore a virtual image. So S prime equals a minus 380 centimeters. You can see now that the image is quite a bit larger than the original object. So let's calculate the magnification. Minus S prime is a minus, minus 380, divided by S, it's 19. 19 goes into 380, 20 times. Plus means that it's upright, it's not inverted, it's upright. 20 means that the image is 20 times the size of the original object. So now you can see that as you start with the object between the focal point and the mirror, and you begin to move the object closer and closer and closer to the focal point, the image, which is a virtual image behind the mirror, will move farther and farther and farther away from the mirror, become larger and larger and larger. Notice that in the limit, as the object approaches the focal point, the image will approach infinity and become infinitely large. In the limit, as you reach the focal point, of course, you would be at infinity, which is undefined distance, and so therefore you really don't have an image when you put the object exactly on top of the focal point. And that's how we know what happens to the image as we move the object closer and closer to the focal point from the distance between the mirror and the focal point.